to Storytime with Mr. Ryan. Today's story is definitively a Western, but it's not your conventional Western. Today's story is about learning to forgive. In this particular instance, learning to forgive an outlaw who's been terrorizing a town. Have you all ever felt angry towards another person? Perhaps they were rude to you, or they misspoke, or they broke a toy that belongs to you. You may feel like you want to lash out, scream, shout, or kick. But the bigger person is the one who always remembers to forgive, to move on. Today's story is The Outlaw by Nancy Vo. Let's hop on in. Once there was an outlaw. Everyone knew of him by his trail of misdeeds. Passengers worried, will the outlaw plunder this train? Shopkeepers closed early, just in case. And children were warned, be good or else the outlaw will get you. And then one day, the outlaw stopped coming into town entirely. Everyone was relieved. Everyone believed that he was as good as gone. Many seasons passed until one hot, windless day, a stranger rode into town. The town was a shadow of itself and in need of repair. Deftly, decisively, the stranger went to work. First, he built a water trough in front of the inn where he was staying. Then he mended the roof of the old clapboard schoolhouse. He was working on the train platform when someone recognized him. You, you are the outlaw. The stranger did not deny this. One man kicked up dirt at him. Another spat at his feet. The outlaw did nothing at all. The boy stepped in front of the outlaw. Leave him alone. He's trying. Some saw the boy's point. Some scowled and remained unconvinced. But Convinced or not, eventually the crowd departed. So the outlaw continued to make amends. And maybe that was what mattered in the end. Thank you guys so much for watching this short little story about learning to forgive and learning to grow and learning to move on. You'll often find times where you'll be really upset with someone and you feel like getting even is the only thing you can do. But remember to keep a cool head, count to 10, and learn to forgive. Forgiveness is the best thing you can do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Mr. Ryan. I had a lot of fun reading this story. Please feel free to check out my other stories on this channel, or if you're looking for fun activities you can do from home, go ahead and check out veronalibrary.org children. Until next time, I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye.